Today I'm going to show you how to clean up your drone data in AgTech and really why we recommend you clean up your drone data in AgTech instead of relying on, you know, some sort of automatic volume generator from an online drone service. And a lot really has to do with all the different obstructions that you see on site, you know, all the equipment and material piles that are inevitably on every job site um, because you're actively working. So if I turn on the drone data here, just going to toggle that layer on, you can see that when we bring in a point cloud LAS file, we do that intelligently. Um, so you have in areas where there's less grade change, point space further apart, and in areas where there's big grade changes, like on a piece of equipment that's, you know, vertically upright, um, we're clustering points tighter together. So there's some cleanup that needs to happen so that you truly capture the dirt volume that you intend to um, without these equipment piles and, or equipment and material piles, I should say. So let's just take a look in 3D view so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So if I scroll over to an area like this on the job site, I'll turn that overlay off. Here we can see, here's that equipment we were just looking at. We've got, I think there was a, an excavator, some sort of dump truck, some other equipment, another truck over here. So if I ran a volume report right now, all of that would be included and my volume really would be incorrect, which isn't maybe a huge deal for one piece of equipment, but multiply that by the 10 pieces that you have on site and that starts to add up quite a bit. So let me show you how you clean that up hop back into edit mode. Really easy. We just window select around that data. So all I'm going to do is just select right around each piece and hit delete on my keyboard. So that has AgTech, tells AgTech to then look at the surrounding points and just slope between them, you know, make that a flat piece. So I'm just going to clean up a couple of these. We don't need to do the whole job site. We'll hop back into 3D view and we'll go to the same area we were just looking at. There it is. We can start to see how that surface is much more true to the actual dirt level. Now I can drive around the site just like you're used to controlling AgTech or I can hold down control and click. It will bring me to my next area that I need cleaning up. Hit edit again. Yep. Okay. Another piece of equipment here. Just going to window select right around there and hit delete get that cleaned up. Now you'll notice, you know, as you look at the picture, this machine was clearly moving on site when this image was captured. So the, the, it didn't get captured in the same way. But I would just do that, go all around the site until I was happy with what I was seeing on the screen. Maybe I don't want these rock piles to display. Get a few more points there. And I can use 3D view and the ortho mosaic image to get all of that cleaned up so that it looks as it should for my true dirt volume, and then I'm gonna run a volume calculation. Let me know if you have any questions.